हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू टेक्स कनेक्ट नाउ टेल मी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू यान स्टैंड दैट आर विजिबल इट्स डिफिकल्ट राइट नाउ व्हाट इफ आई जूम देम अ लिटिल कैन यू मेक आउट अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू द लेफ्ट वन इज द ट्रेडिशनल रिंग स्पन यान एंड द राइट वन इज अ रोटर स्पन यान लेट्स डिस्कस सो देर आर टू मोस्ट प्रेवलेंट स्पिनिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट आर देर इन द स्पिनिंग मार्केट राइट नाउ दीज आर the ring span yarn and the open end rotor span yarn there is also a third one which is vortex or air span yarn regarding which we'll discuss in the next coming videos so today i'll be talking about what is ring spinning and rotor spinning how are the two spinning technologies different from one another what is the difference in the yarn properties which one's better and etc now this is extremely important as it is a very frequent question asked in the examinations Also you should have a basic overview between the two. Let's begin. So ring spinning machine was first invented by Thorpe in 1828 and later Jenk added the traveler rotating around the ring in 1830. There have been considerable modifications done but the principle remains the same. That is in ring spinning a bundle of fibers parallel fibers which are called the roving slivers are fed into the drafting zone. Now the difference in the speed of the rollers cause the roving to become thinner as it is obvious that if the front tire of your car is faster and the rear tire is slower what will happen the car would start stretching right now it cannot stretch so it will certainly break so this thinning of sliver is called the attenuation of roving the thin strand of parallel fibers or the thin roving in rollers is then simultaneously twisted into yarn by a tiny circulating traveler on the spinning ring which is then wound onto a yarn package mounted on a driven spindle the spindle is driven and the package is mounted on the top of it if you want the whole step by step process you can click the link on the video that is being shown on the screen let's move on to the next one that is the open end rotor spun yarn so it was developed in the year 1967 that is quite late later than the ring spinning technology in Czechoslovakia so they are spun on an open end principle using a rotor after the sliver fiber bundle is separated into individual fibers directly into the air stream and then they are again recollected into the groove of the rotor the rotor itself is a twisting device of the spinning system since the fibers are opened or released from the roving into the individual open fibers and then spun back into the groove we name it the open end spinning Now this rotor spinning system is able to process the carded or draw frame slivers directly. This has a set of fibers that wrap the core of the yarn which are called as wrapping fibers. Now they have a role in the strength and tenacity of the yarn which we will discuss in the coming video. So what are the differences in their structural and physical properties? Let's start with the very first one that is the production rate. in ring spun it has a low production and a low rpm in the rotor spun it has a high production and a high rpm rotor spinning can provide up to 400 meters per minute whereas ring spinning cannot and also an additional process of drafting and roving is involved in the ring spinning machine which increases the cost whereas in rotor spun you can directly take slivers and or individualize them to again spin them back into the rotor like we discussed a few minutes ago so this additional cost of an extra setup is saved and hence rotor spun yarn is a bit cheaper coming to the second property that is the tenacity ring spun yarns have a higher tenacity compared to the rotor spun yarns the reason for this is in open end there is a higher average diameter matlab agar aap ring spun yarn and rotor spun yarn ka diameter measure karoge तो एवरेज डायमीटर फॉर द सेम काउंट ऑफ यान रोटर का ज्यादा रहेगा एंड रिंग का कम रहेगा दिस सिग्निफाइज दैट द फाइबर्स आर लूजली पैक्ड क्योंकि उसमें बल्क है एंड ड्यू टू हाई बल्क देर आर हाई नंबर ऑफ फोल्डेड फाइबर्स दिस मेक्स दम लेस स्ट्रॉन्ग बिकॉज हायर नंबर ऑफ दिस ओरियंटेड फाइबर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द रोटर स्पन यान देर इज ऑल्सो लोअर लेवल्स ऑफ फाइबर माइग्रेशन लेस पैकिंग and presence of non load bearing wrapper fibers or the belt fibers that means the wrapper fibers just keep the core intact 
and they do not contribute in the strength of the yarn. So rotor spun yarns are generally more extensible compared to the ring spun yarns. Coming to the linear density, it is 5, 5 to 600 tex for the ring spun yarn and 20 to 60 tex for the rotor spun yarn. That means ring spinning gives you a wider variety compared to the rotor spun yarn. In appearance, ring spinning is less uniform and open and rotor spun yarns are more uniform. This is because there are less irregular fibers. This is due to the multiple doubling and the back doubling that happens in the groove of the rotor. It forms tiny layers of fibers. Now rotor spun yarns tend to be more uniform in appearance and in linear density than compared to the ring spun yarn. The next is structure. The ring spun yarn has a uniform helical structure with each helix having some number of turns per unit length and it has a homogeneous fiber core. Whereas a rotor spun yarn has a bipartite structure in the two zone. Then there is a core which forms the bulk and then there are the wrapper fibers. Next up is the twist. Ring spun yarn has a lower twist Rotor spun has a higher twist. Extensibility, ring spun yarn has an average extensibility. Rotor spun yarn has a higher extensibility. Ring spun yarn has lower abrasion resistance. Rotor spun has a higher abrasion resistance. Yarn faults are higher in ring spun yarn and they are significantly reduced in the rotor spun yarn. The next up is hairiness. Ring spun yarn is very hairy because of the protruding fibers. Whereas in the rotor spun yarn, the hairiness is low because of the wrapper fibers. They keep all the fibers on the surface intact to the core. If we talk about the handle, ring spun yarns are softer. Rotor spun yarn is harsher. And fiber blending, we can blend lower fibers in ring spun yarn, but more fibers are uh, blended in the rotor spun yarn. Wrapper fibers are not present at all in the ring spun yarn. Whereas wrapper fibers are the most essential part of an open end rotor spun yarn. So yes, that was all about ring spun and rotor spun yarn. I hope most of the concept is clear. We'll come back with another video on the vortex yarn. So stay tuned and keep watching Text Connect, a learning center for textiles.